check for advanced restart button as you can see it's available here I am directly booting into recovery using that if you don't have that you can traditionally boot into recovery by pressing volume up button and power button simultaneously this is the latest TWRP recovery available for Surya or Karnaim in the POCO X3 slash NFC you can use the same recovery once it's booted into recovery go to wipe section here and select your advanced wipe and select Dalvik package cache and cache metadata and data swipe here to wipe it once that has been done again go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the rom zip files first flash the firmware always it's very very crucial to flash a firmware and flashing a right firmware is also very important i am flashing MIUI Surya Global 13.0.1.0 that is the firmware you need to be flashed once that has been done again go to home section and select here install and select the ROM zip file here I am flashing voltage 2.1 just flash it it's a vanilla build you need to flash the G apps separately once the ROM get flashed I will be going to flash the ROM zip uh, the G apps also as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed and hence it's in vanilla build you need to flash the g app separately i have like uh, they recommended this mind g apps 13 let's flash the same yeah the mind g apps 13.0 arm 64 it will get flashed within a while wait until it gets flashed done now you need to go to wipe again and select your format data and type here yes and press this tick button done now again go to home and select reboot and select the system this how the simple method to flash a custom rom precisely this particularly this uh, voltage os 2.1 based on android 13 latest build available for poco x3 this how simple you need to follow the same steps you need to use the same firmware and same rom zip file hence it will going to boot into your favorite voltage os 2.1 you can see the animation also in this video i am going to explain in detail regarding this voltage os 2.1 hence you will be understanding everything in detail regarding this particular rom and here we go it's booted into voltage os 2.1 and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you're watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews voltage os 2.1 android version 13 5th december 2022 is the latest security patch available and kernel user is 4.14.282 ceylon t kernel has been used linux status is enforcing and build date is january 4th latest available build for poco x3 slash nfc and i've been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes and 56 seconds and 5 milliseconds you can see the maximum score is 190 and average is 178 and minimum is 158 and there is no throttle that much 91 percent of its max performance according to this cpu throttling test application and this was run from 100 threat test guys not 10 or 20 like that and this is the home screen you get and this is the quick settings panel you get in the edit section you get these kind of options here if you want you can drag them and add from here and let me turn this on i will forget to turn this on fs information okay you can see on the screen the fs information is also also present on the left end right i mean left height i mean upper corner and this is the home screen and app drawer you get and dialer you can see here let me increase the volume and turn on to ringing mode sorry vibration now ringing okay you can see direct video call feature is not available in this room i don't know why again let me try once more yeah it's not available and there is call recording no why it haven't actually hello okay this is like octave voice kind of dialer and things are used here even the gallery application as i shown here you will just get these kind of options here details slideshow and these things and this app drawer it's smooth actually as you can see it's very very smooth it's comparable with octave voice 
or the CR droid sorry CR droid not Octavi it's similar to CR droid version 13 it's like that and this is ROS 2.1 and also you can see the benchmark results and app opening time of Geekbench scores first you can see single score performance is 535 and multi score is 1473 which could have been better and Linux 4.1 4.2 it to Silanti kernel has been used scores are not that great here even the Android benchmark also you can see out app opening time compared to any other previous from 3,59,724 and temperature raise was 3.9 degrees Celsius and 4 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of Android benchmark results which is good compared to Geekbench and DRM information you get level 1 certification you can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution that's not the problem and also you get a music application in order to use the offline music you can use and even game space is also given here and Google Maps are working fine coming to safety net status here it will get passed obviously you can use all the payment applications like Google Pay, Phone Pay, whatever you want to use you can use that and this is a camera application pre-installed here for basic tasks and everything you can use this camera but if you want anything advanced then you can use any other gcam ports i am here using this particular gcam port which is working fine in my opinion and that's how it is and their information everything has shown calculator it looks like this calendar also looks like this there are a little bit of tweaking has been done and i have 100 mbps fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 and even with mobile data connection also working fine currently i don't have uh, 5g sim and 5g smartphones are available uh, obviously yeah uh, i forgot one thing this poco x it doesn't support 5g but carrier aggregation the 4g plus is working fine 83 mbps working fine like that these are the app settings and if i move into settings you get this kind of settings panel which is looks little bit of pinkish based on the wallpaper that's how it is and i also show you the home screen here the wallpapers and yeah these are the wallpapers have been pre-installed you can change them and this is the wallpaper colors and basic colors that's the android 13 feature and dark theme it will be in pitch black only you need to make some settings here and the system themed icons custom you can use here any app you can select from here that's cool and app grid it's available up to 6 into 10 fonts and icon packs also you can change from here and widgets obviously you get this battery widget is missing since it's an android 13 it should have but that's how it is and moving it actual settings here you get power hub in the status bar again clock style battery style you get it and this all the settings you get battery style battery percentage you can see there are print of customizations available traffic indicators are also given quick settings panel again here there are customization buttons again customizations available lock screen you get this kind of customization double tap to screen wake and sleep are available here power menu again advanced restart button turned on by default if you want you can disable from here notification settings are also given and miscellaneous settings here you need to enable for unlock ifs in games and unlimited photo storage these are the things given in the miscellaneous settings you need to enable them now moving into actual settings like sound and vibration you get all the basic settings here clear speaker is also given you get these kind of options you can enable or disable from here and vibration and haptics are also given here phone ringtone you can choose from here and me sound enhancer direct sound settings are given even hi-fi audio system is also given and also the moto yeah the moto dolby atmos is also principal here for tweaking the audio there are a lot more customization available in this room no need to worry regarding that now moving into display again here live display options is given color calibration you can choose from here picture adjustment you can do display mode is set to off outdoor I keep make it off only don't use that and adaptive brightness working fine no problem regarding that and there is one shot auto brightness I don't know what's that option is and dark theme as I said use pitch black theme that's available here hence it's in pitch black condition that's really important for me at least and display size and text it's go to accessibility settings here night light feature also working fine you can adjust the intensity and colors you kept to boost a different you can change the maximum 120 minimum to 60 there are no 30 like that that's how it is and full screen apps if certain app is not playing in the full screen just enable from 
here and this is all the display settings and wallpaper sun style already explained accessibility menu is simply given here as you can see without actually using the physical buttons you can increase or decrease the volume even brightness and even you can toggle the notification toggle from here these are the accessibility settings given from voltage os 2.1 it's an ios prom and face unlock and fingerprint unlocks are given here app lock is also pre-installed here which is good thing and encryption the rom is encrypted here that's how it is and location is also working fine privacy settings everything is working fine in this particular rom now moving into system into the gestures into system navigation into gesture navigation there are options to increase the pill length and pill radius which is very good in my opinion that's how the other roms are missing these two options together that's a present here and notification toggle everything is working fine no problem regarding that you also seeing the fs it's almost above 100 only all the time that's how it is it's kind of adaptive refresh only but not completely adaptive it will going to 20 even 7 also you can see here and showing you the security unlocking like fingerprint unlock let me show you as you can see it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone using the fingerprint and even the face unlock let me try to open yes it's very very quick in my opinion just press the power button it gets unlocked and 33 watt charging support I will turn on this okay it will show charging rapidly as of now it's showing charging slowly only as you can see it's showing charging now slowly it will get increased to turbo as you can see charging rapidly has been shown here that's how it is it's available on camera application you can see the delay is little bit of there whenever you have keep it on charging i will open like this it is little bit of delay as you can see again it's not getting here again if you close and open it then it will open that's the bug i have noticed in this particular room as you can see now it's opened whenever you keep it on charging the camera application is not getting open particularly the gcam that's the only small bug i can say in this particular room apart from that you get fm radio also and i'll show you the pubg mobile and wind of this video you can see the graphics is set to smooth plus 90 fs and you can also do the real the real time fs count on the left side <coughs> <coughs> and loudness is very very loud if you can hear or not i don't know guys but it's quite a loud here uh, and you can see the real time fps here hope you guys seeing it i'll decrease a little bit of volume it's too loud for me and regarding pubg new state few people asking i'll show you within a while here after a little bit of time that's how it is the gameplay is fine handling it uh, around 60 to 90 which is fine in my opinion you can have it as a daily dread for a gaming also you guys can see here and i will come back and regarding pubg new state if you go and search in the playstation i mean play store regarding new state you can see here looking for new state it's not available in your device that's the rom capability that's not available uh, i hope that will be fixed in the upcoming builds of this voltage os 2.1 as of now it's very good it's very good in terms of charging speeds and battery life and even the performance is very good it's an all-round rom you can definitely use it as a dial driver the only thing is they don't have any proper updates sometimes with updated build they mess up with some features or some bugs that's the only thing they need to keep in mind and make it as a better driving rom then it will be easy to recommend this particular rom as of now it's very good you can use it as a daily driver if you want you can use some other roms which are in my channel you can check out there are plenty of roms available based on android 13 and we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now